Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have my 2021 makeup favorites for my eyes and my lips. So I've already filmed part one of this video, which is my base product. So if you're interested in that, then I'll link it down below. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so first category is eyeshadow. Now, I personally am not the biggest eyeshadow palette person. Um, so this category isn't huge, but I do still have a few to show you guys. So the number one probably favorite of mine at the moment has got to be my Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? The Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Now this I really, really love. I would say that I probably use these four shades, including this one on the end here, more than the two on the end, which really caught me by surprise because when I looked at the palette like originally online, I really thought that I would use like these colors the most, but honestly, I reach into these so often. But nonetheless, I really, really like them. They're not a matte shadow. They're actually really, really unique. They've got like a unique sheen to them. And I just love how they are on the eye. I do have a little bit of this light color like on my eye today mixed in with a few other eyeshadows. So you can't really tell. But yeah, I absolutely love how these look on the eye. They're not too matte, but they're not like shimmery either. It's just so unique and I absolutely love it. It's just one of those grab and go. You don't have to think too much about palettes and it really can take you from day to night, um, especially with like this dark, like almost black color on the end. Absolutely beautiful. You get a decent size mirror as well, so you can definitely use it on the go. And yeah, just a really, really good palette. Next palette is actually from Vizier. Don't mind this one. This one actually got broken and I had to repress it. Um, but this is the Vizier. I think it's called like the Theory palette. And it is in cashmere. Now, I absolutely love this. You do have one row of matte and one row of shimmer. I love using this top row here. And then I love using these two colors. I don't really reach for this color on the end all that much. Just because it is a little bit more gray. Um, but still, I absolutely love this. I love Viseart shadows. I think they're stunning. And yeah, I just really like how these are nice and compact. And once this palette's done, I can pop these shadows out and then put in other shadows that I have from the art. And for me personally, I don't like big palettes. Like I know like when I was younger, I used to love like the Urban Decay Naked palettes and like all those bigger, like 12 pan, 14, 36 pan palettes. But really like, I'm just too busy to be overwhelmed by that many colors. Like I just like sticking to like six or nine shadows at most. And yeah, just being able to do my eyeshadows quite quickly. Um, for me, I feel like because of my eye shape, it doesn't really matter what I do to my eyes. They look very, very similar. So that's why I don't really play around with eyeshadows all that much. But when it comes to formula, I definitely have ones that I gravitate more towards. Now, this will be no surprise, but just MAC shadows in general, especially their mattes. Um, I do have a few of these like nine pan palettes. I don't really reach for this one all too much, but coincidentally enough, this is the only one that I can find at the moment. So who knows? But I absolutely love these. For the most part, these are permanent colors. Um, the one that I use the most is the brown one like in this line, like with the three, I just don't even remember what it's called, but I use that one so, so much. I do use this from time to time, but not heaps. But yeah, otherwise I just love like their single pan shadows as well, because then you can customize it and just keep like the colors that you use the most. Honestly, my most used color is Wedge by MAC. It's that one there. You can see I've hit pan. I'm actually surprised that I still have any left. And then I do quite like a few of their shimmers as well, especially nylon. I absolutely love that. It's just beautiful on the eye. And then what's this color in the middle? Is it sable? Yeah, sable. This color in the middle is just a great, like just all over lid color. But yeah, so between Vizia, Charlotte Tilbury and MAC, it honestly covers all my bases for my favorite eyeshadows. And then of course, if you've seen a few of my videos, I also love just putting a bit of bronzer in the crease as well sometimes. So there's that as well. I can't believe that I almost forgot my two favorites. Um, the only thing that I don't like about these is that they're so hard to get. It feels like they're always sold out and I have no idea why, but I absolutely adore the MAC, um, not MAC, sorry, the NARS single shadows. I have Bali and then I have Coconut Grove. I really do want to expand my collection, but honestly, all the colors that I want are always sold out and it does not matter like 
what shade they are it doesn't matter what website i look on they are always sold out so i've got no idea why but that's the case but i really really love these i love the two colors that i do have because it really does amp up like any eye look that i have and yeah i just think they're amazing shades i know that they are quite dark but honestly they work so well at just like elevating an eye look i probably should have started with this first um, but in terms of eye bases, so to actually like make my eyelids like a uniform color, I do put concealer on my eyelids. I just feel like that's the quickest way and you're not packing another product. But um, this product here is the Fenty, I think it's called the Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. Now this is in Invisi Pink. It is invisible. It is clear. Once you apply it to the eye, you can't see any color there. But honestly sorry my sheep are going crazy but this makes sure that my eyeshadows do not go anywhere it is great i don't get any creasing normally i have really quite oily eyelids and if i want to wear like eyeshadow for a prolonged amount of time if i don't put this eye primer on i do get creasing but when i'm going out or anything like that i do make the active effort to put this on underneath and then i go over the top with my concealer um and yeah, honestly, cannot not use this, especially when I've got like a longer day. Like it's definitely worth the extra step. And honestly, a tube of this will last ages. Love it. I do want to mention these like crayon type products from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Color Chameleons. I do have the shade Cosmic Gold and the shade Black Smolder. These came in like a Christmas pack. And I bought these like probably like the first few days out of lockdown and I've been using them non-stop like this cosmic gold shade is just an amazing gold color like I feel like I've been using this like pretty much all the time for the last like two and a half months and then I've also got black smolder as well which I've been loving instead of like liquid eyeliner for the honeymoon I did use liquid eyeliner but when I wasn't like and I was just kind of like going about my day-to-day -day life I love putting this like just on my top lash line and I loved using this like cosmic gold either like on the lower lash line or all over the eyelid as kind of like a base but I've been loving these I love how easy they are to apply I feel like normally with like crayon type products I get quite sick of them really quickly it's either that they're really tedious to apply or they don't last or they crease even if you use a good eye primer like all this like weird stuff like it's just not a nice experience overall not these these are great like the application is very very easy you don't get any creasing they don't fade they really do amplify anything that you put on the top but you don't need to if you don't want to so yeah honestly i haven't been using these for all that long in the year but i don't know i just really really like them i can see myself using them like well into the new year and i'll definitely be looking at the line to see if there's any other ones that i can pick up i probably will kind of i've kind of got the middle and like dark color covered so i kind of want to get some more in like the lighter range but really love the formula it is great so moving on i do have some pigments these are honestly like my favorite pigments i do have mac pigments as well and i don't mind those but i like the color variety of inglot pigments a lot more and i do think i appreciate the packaging like it's just shorter and just easier to hold i don't know so it just makes the overall experience a lot nicer they are very comparable to MAC, like I wouldn't say there's much difference at all, but for some reason I always just reach for my Inglot pigments. I just pulled out two from my drawer, but this is shade 79, which is like a beautiful, like lighter champagne colour. And then this one is, I think this was a limited edition like JLo one in the shade Blazing Rose. Um, but yeah, honestly love pretty much all my Inglot pigments that I have. I don't use them enough, like, to be honest, like, I've probably only used them, like, I don't know, maybe 20 times this year, but considering that a good chunk of the year was spent in lockdown, I thought that was a pretty solid effort, but yeah, absolutely love, sorry, my camera cut out, but yeah, absolutely love, love, love Inglot pigments, and I feel like they are, honestly, like, my favorite ones to use. For eyeliner, now, Two of these are new additions to my collection, but they have come in fast and quick, and I'm obsessed. Um, the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 
eyeliner. So this one is more of like a red brown color. This is the miniature size because I got it in like a like Christmas pack thing, but I'll definitely be buying the full size of this. This is just absolutely beautiful and I just really, really like it. And then I've also got the classic eyeliner pencil from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Classic Brown. These are different formulas. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but this one is a lot like drier, I guess. And this one's a lot more creamy, but both of them absolutely love for different reasons. Um, this one I love like in my waterline. This one I can use as well, but this one I love more so for like my upper like lash line. But yeah, honestly, I don't know why, like, I am not a big eyeliner person. Like, for me to even start using, like, liquid eyeliner was, like, a big deal a few years ago. But I still, like, was not a fan of, like, pencil liners. Like, for my lower lash line or anything like that, I just was not a fan. But these two from Charlotte Tilbury, like, they don't go everywhere on your face. And they're just really, really nice to use. Like, they're not a mess like other eyeliners that I had in the past. So yeah, I will definitely continue to use these. They are more expensive because they are Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, like for the overall experience and how they last on the skin, it is totally worth it for me. Love these. I probably wouldn't venture out and get any other colors besides the classic brown. And I don't think that I would venture out and get any other colors besides the Pillow Talk either. Watch, in six months time, who knows, I might have them all. We'll see. <laughs> But yeah, overall, really, really like both of these. Um, some days if I don't want to do anything as harsh as a liquid eyeliner, but I still want something on my like upper eyelid, I will just go in with the classic brown. Or otherwise, I don't mind like just smudging out my lower lash line with it. And then I love using the pillow talk in the waterline. Love it. And then for liquid liner, this one has been like a tried and true, like absolutely obsessed with this for like years now, um, is the KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner. Now I have it in black and brown. I really don't feel like there's much of a difference on the eye at all. Um, like today I have brown on, like did anyone notice? Cause I don't, um, but yeah, I just love how this stays. I love how it doesn't like get up here like on my eyelids because I do have like more hooded eyes so depending on the product it can like like cause like a second line over time but yeah this doesn't do it and I absolutely love that and it just lasts all day so I just really really like it and then mascara if I'm not wanting to wear lashes or if I just want my like natural lashes to like really pop I will use a lash primer and my favorite is the Tarte opening act lash primer and then I, what I've been doing recently is using like a normal non-tubing mascara and then topping it off with my Emco Beauty just so I can kind of like have a bit more variety because I feel like recently the Lash Extend just really hasn't been giving my lashes that oomph that it used to. So I have recently been using and loving the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I feel like a lot of people have fallen in love with this. Um, and I definitely have. I do think that I prefer it over the false lash effect, like the one in the silver tube. Um, and normally, like, I don't like synthetic brushes, but for some reason, I really, really enjoy this one. And I like how the formula isn't too wet. Um, and then I will always forever love my Emco Beauty Lash Extend, either on its own or over the top of this. Um, it just is a tubing mascara, so it makes sure that your mascara doesn't like end up like down here, which is not cute because that's I've done that before and it's just not cute. And some mascaras do it worse than others, but when I use this, it never happens. So I absolutely love it. So that's it for eyes. We're going to move on to lips. And for me, I'm obsessed with lip balms, lip conditioners, like that type of thing. My holy grail, ride or die, is always going to be the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. This is a conditioning lip treatment. I use this as a lip balm day in, day out. I absolutely love this stuff. This is the one that lives in my handbag because it does have like the squeeze tube applicator. So it's just really, really easy to use and I love it. But I also have two other like lip balm style things that I really, really like as well. So this one is an Old Faithful. This is the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. I feel like I've, like this has been a favorite for 
I think three years now, if not more. Um, but yeah, I always just get the pink flavor. I just want to stick to what I know. Like people say that like the jelly, like the jelly or like the gummy bear one, like the purple one's really good and all the other colors. And I'm sure they are, but I'm just going to stick to what I know. And yeah, I just love this one so, so much. And you get so much product in here. This one definitely does last me a lot more than the Jouer one, just because there's more product, but both of them I love. And then one that I recently tried out and it is newer to my collection is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Now, I've used quite a lot of this considering it is quite new. You can see the divot in it. And I really do like this. I like this like just before I put on my makeup. The others I like to use like, like I used to use them whenever, wherever, you know what I mean? But recently, like as like kind of like my start of makeup application prep, I've been using this from Laneige. And it gives your lips like a bit of an illuminosity to it. Like if you kind of like, if you see this in person, it's kind of got a bit of like a pearl finish to it. Um, and it gives your lips like a bit of a tingle. So it kind of makes your lips look a little bit larger. And it's just really, really nice like before you put on lipstick. I don't know. I've just noticed that I've liked this. The others are still good. But this one, because of the tingle, I feel like it's kind of like that little bit of difference. You know what I mean? Lip liner. Now, I will be completely honest with you. I don't use lip liner every time that I, like, wear lipstick. Um, but when I do, I really do notice a difference. It's just that I'm really, really lazy. But the ones that I always reach for are by MAC. My most used colours are Whirl, Spice, and Strip Down. They're probably my most used three. Um, and, yeah, I honestly just use any of these and they really do emphasize the lips absolutely love them they are great they're just a basic does the job product and they do last a relatively long time as well and the colors are very complimenting if you're wanting to like use it with like a nude or anything like that for liquid lipsticks there is two formulas that i feel like i've gravitated towards this year in particular now the first one is going to be no surprise is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. Now, this is in the shade Truffle. I also use the shade Nude Mood quite a bit as well. You can kind of like see the color difference there. They are very true to the bottle color and I absolutely love both of these. They're very, very comfortable on the lips and I just really like how they wear. They wear pretty much, they don't wear all day, but they do wear for a significant amount of time and then they do fade quite seamlessly. So I really do like that. So next is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Now these ones I feel like have been my favorite, like been in my favorites quite a few times, at least in my mind it feels that way. Um, I am wearing one of these today in the shade Besso, but I just really like these. Like you don't need to worry when these are on. Like you're not worried like, oh my God, do I still have any like lipstick on? Like that type of thing. I just really, really like how they stay on the lips. They don't stay all day but they do stay for a relatively long amount of time. And that's all you really can want out of a liquid lipstick. Like, yes, they will break down if you're eating oily foods and stuff, but if you're not, then they honestly last such a long amount of time. They're just great. So for lipstick, the first one is in specific, um, the Charlotte Tilbury, I don't even know what this is called, but it's like, I don't know what the actual name of this type of lipstick is called. So I'm sorry about that, but it's in the name walk of no shame now i love this one for how it looks on top of truffle now some days i feel like truffle is a little bit too light for me like depending on how dark my fake tan is i feel like it is a little bit light and this darkens it up beautifully and it adds a beautiful amount of shine i feel like i've recently been using these two as like my go-to combo where i put on truffle but then throughout the day, I'm like patting on this like walk of no shame. Now, it, I originally thought that this was not going to be a color for me. Like it is quite sheer. It is a dark color, um, but it is quite sheer. Like if you look at it in real life, like you can definitely see my skin underneath it. But it just acts as like the most beautiful like topping color. And it just complements it so nicely. I have to show you guys in a video sometime. But yeah, this on top of truffle. I don't really like this on my face on its own. It's not really my style. But this on top of truffle 
I absolutely love it. It is great. Now the rest, I'm really just talking about formulation in general. It really just depends on how I feel on the day as to what color I wear because I love, love, love lipstick. Because for me, like I feel like my base products and my eye makeup kind of always looks the same, no matter how much or little I do, it always kind of looks the same. But my lip color, I can change and it does look different. So I'm not going to be talking about shades in specific besides the last one, but these ones, it's just purely based on formula. Now, MAC lipsticks, the satin and the matte formulation, I am absolutely obsessed. I love all of them. Um, this one is in the shade Velvet Teddy. Like, it's just very, very well known. And it is just a beautiful nude color. But like I said, and you can see they're kind of in the same family, um, the Walk of No Shame. But yeah, absolutely love like just the MAC matte and the MAC satin formulas. They are just my favorite. I love them. The next are the Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks. Um, I only have a few shades, but the one that I use the most is, I think it's called Stylist. Um, this one I really, really love. It is a little bit different. Or at least to me, it is slightly different. But I really, really like pretty much all the lipsticks that I have in this line and I always reach for them, specifically this one. So lastly is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipsticks. Now I just love these shades so much. I love how they feel on the lips. I love the concentration and I love how they're not sticky. Like they're a quite a, they're not a dry matte, but they are like they're creamy dry. They're not just dry. And I really, really like that. The colors are very pigmented. Um, this is the shade First Kiss. And yeah, just overall, I really, really like them. You can tell that I really go for like a very similar color family when it comes to lipsticks. Um, but yeah, so it's either a nude or it is a red at the moment. That's just how it is. But yeah, absolutely love, 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 love all the lipsticks in this line. It's just more so like a formula thing for me. Like this is the shade, oh gosh, I'm not even gonna L... Chinca de Mayo, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, yeah, I absolutely love. It's actually very similar to the lip color that I'm wearing now. But yeah, I absolutely love these. And I, for some reason, always gravitate towards laying these on top of a liquid lipstick for some reason. But yeah, love them. And then lucky last, we've got lip glosses. So the first one is the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is the extreme one and it does give like a plumping effect to the lips. I really, really like it. It does burn, but it does do a really nice job at plumping the lips. This one is the NARS Lip Gloss in the shade Chelsea's Girl. This is just a great, beautiful, everyday nude like lip gloss either to put over the top of a lipstick or to wear on its own. I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful color. I haven't really tried anything else from the line, but this is really the only one that's caught my fancy and I absolutely love it. And then the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I always lean towards the shade Fussy. I do have, I think it's Fenty Glow and Diamond Bomb or something like that. But Fussy is definitely the one that I pick up the most. Probably because I do like the more pinker nudes. So this is just really complementing to the colors that I wear underneath. Okay, guys. So that is my beauty favorites for eyes and lips for 2021. It has been such a strange, bizarre, amazing year. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorites for the year have been in the comments down below because I'd love to check them out. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.